What is up, everyone? Movie Man back again with another movie talk weekly. This is just me talking about all the movie news from the past week or so. Quite a bit to talk about this week, so let's just get straight into it. Okay, let's just start with, sadly, some more film delays. I might stop reading these out on the Movie Talk Weeklies because I want you lot to come over here and have a positive experience. So we're going to get loads of movie delays anyway, and I don't want to be talking about them every single week. But if there is a big movie that gets moved, I will talk about it. But some that are not really high on my radar, I might just leave alone and not mention it to you guys. Let me know if you want to know about all of the movie delays anyway, because I don't know how to go about it really. It is negative news at the end of the day. But I'll just get on with these movies that have been moved. James Bond No Time To Die, of course, was meant to come out in November 2020. <laughs> and now that has been moved to 2021 in April. So, yeah, the Bond movie that everyone has been looking forward to for such a long time has been moved a whole year when you think about it, it was meant to come out in April last year, I believe. So, yeah. Not good. And we also have June, which has been moved to October 2021. I believe this was also meant to be an end of year release as well. But that has been moved to October 2021 now. Batman, the big one for me, is meant has now been moved to 2022. At the end of that trailer, if you do remember, it said 2021 at the end. But this is now going to be 2022. Don't know what date. I just know the year. And Jurassic Park Dominion has also been moved to 2022 in the summer. So, yeah. I think this was meant to come next year. They haven't even finished filming that or begun filming, I believe. I can't remember what it was now. But there's a big chunk of that movie that hasn't been filmed. But... A little bit of light at the end of the tunnel, and I say this because it'll probably get moved again, but due to the Warner Brothers reshuffle, The Matrix 4 has now been moved forward, believe it or not, to December 2021. So it's nearly 2022, it's a year and a bit away. But they are the movie time changes, if you like, date changes, should I say. So yeah, let's just get on with another bad bit of movie news, and that is the Cineworld UK cinema chain. And it has got some in the US, I believe, was meant to shut a quarter of their cinemas. But the last article I read said that they're going to be shutting all of their cinemas until, I think it's March or April next year. Because there's hardly any movies coming out. There is a few coming out, which I'll get to soon. But there are hardly, hardly any movies coming out, big movies. And that bond delay to April was the last straw for them. And they're just temporarily shutting their cinemas, understandably so, and Odeon, I think a quarter of their cinemas have announced just a weekend schedule now, where they'll only be showing movies on the weekend, I think my my Odeon, my local one, is still open all week, but yeah, a quarter of them will be just weekend only, so 45,000 jobs at risk as well for Cine World, but that is all the bad news now, so let's just get on to some positive news and some movie news that you have come here for. Okay, so we finally got a trailer for the new movie by Robert Zemeckis, the reimagining of Roald Dahl's classic tale, The Witches. Of course, this has already been a movie in the 90s, which is filmed here in the UK, but we are getting a, a US version there, a reimagining of a old tale for the modern audience, according to the filmmaker. And Anne Hathaway is set to star as the Grand Eye Witch in this one. And she looks like she might do actually a good job going by this trailer. Chris Rock is also narrating the trailer. Now, I don't know if they're going to use his voice. Because he's playing the young boy, Luke. In I think it's Luke in the original. I don't know what his name's going to be in this one. But it's the same sort of character. He's doing the voice of that character. Now, whether he's going to narrate the film or they're going to use his voice for when they turn into mice. Who knows? But Chris Rock was in there anyway. And, you know... It, I don't know, this trailer kind of looked okay, I'm a big fan of the original, I love the practical effects in the original, I thought they were really well done, and it's quite a creepy film, but in this one, they did look at a little bit of bad CGI there, I'm not going to lie, I just thought, oh, they're going down that route where there's not much attention to detail, especially when the young boy is turning into the mouse there, so... We'll just have to wait and see. I will leave the link to the trailer down below if you want to check it out. But that is The Witches and it's meant to be coming to HBO Max. Meant to be. It is coming to HBO Max's streaming service, I believe. 
mid October. I think it's October the twentieth, but there has been no official UK release date yet. I'm hoping it might come to cinemas, the ones that are open, or maybe it'll just come to one of our streaming services. But that is The Witches, set to release in the US anyway, on in mid October, and hopefully we'll get a UK release around that time too. So look out for that one. Some kind of strange news now, Jamie Foxx has let rip that he might be in the new Spider-Man 3 movie. He put a picture on Instagram with some electric blue lights in the background there, with three Spider-Man at the bottom, what it looked like. And it said, tell Spidey, let's run it back. Super excited to be part of the new Spider-Man, new installment. Can't wait for y'all to check this new one out, and I won't be blue in this one, but a thousand percent badass. Now this post has now been deleted, but obviously the internet does not forget. And there's all sorts of rumours going around, like it might be a multiverse, with Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield coming in, with Tom Holland there. Like, the Spider-Verse cartoon, I would not rule this out. I could actually see this happening. Whether it will or not, I don't know. We're already meant to be getting some sort of thing with The Flash and the Batmans, like Michael Keaton and, you know, Ben Affleck there coming into one movie. So, maybe this is a new thing the studios are trying. I don't know, but... Keep your eyes peeled for more Spider-Man 3 news soon. I'm sure some might get leaked this week or confirmed even, sorry, with Jamie Foxx putting that up and then deleting it. Maybe it wasn't just the time to release that news, but maybe the studios will go ahead and give us some more details this week. But if they do, I will put it in next week's movie news. But that is Jamie Foxx set to come back as Electro in Spider-Man 3. Now, one movie that is definitely coming to UK cinemas this month, or officially at the start of November, but there are some previews coming on Halloween weekend there, is a sequel to Train to Busan titled Peninsula. We got a new poster and a new trailer, which I'll li we'll leave down below, but I've never actually seen the mo first movie. I have just picked it up on Blu-ray, actually, and I'm looking on doing a horror revisited review on this this weekend, hopefully. I'm going to be watching it this weekend, and then I'll sort my review out just in time for the sequel. So I've heard really good things about this, so I'm looking forward to the sequel. Retro reviews are sort of my horror revisited reviews where I look at all the horror movies, basically. But yeah, new trailer down below if you want to check it out. That is Train to Busan Peninsula coming at the end of October, start of November. Some exciting news now for Resident Evil fans. We are already getting, yes, I say we because I'm a big Resident Evil fan myself, a Netflix show next year, an animated TV series. And I've spoke about that a few times on the channel, but we are also getting a Resident Evil movie that I didn't have any idea was happening. And we got the full cast and who's playing who and some minor plot details. So I'll just go through the cast. Kaya Scodelario, I hope I'm saying that for it correctly, she is in the uh, the Maze Runner movie. She's going to be playing Claire Redfield. We also have Robbie Amell, who will be playing, playing Chris Redfield. Hannah John Kamen, who will be playing Jill Valentine. And Avian Jogger, who will be playing Leon Kennedy. And the director went on to say, With this movie, I really wanted to go back to the original first two games and recreate a terrifying visceral experience I had when I first played them. At the same time, telling a grounded human story about a small American dying town that feels both relatable and relevant to today's audiences. Now, he's a fan of the games by the sound of that. And that is a big, big plus for me because them Resident Evil movies that were made by... I forgot the guy's first name, but his second name is Anderson were just pretty bad, I thought, and I just wish they would have stayed to the formula of the game. I think this has big potential to be a big franchise, with all the stories they can create in Raccoon City, and these characters all being in this one movie is just so, so exciting to me, because they are the four main protagonists in the game, aren't they? I don't know when this movie is coming out or anything like that, but the director saying that, and this cast playing these characters has got me really, really up for this movie. And this is going to be very, very high on my most anticipated movie list for whatever future movies are coming out. And I really, really can't wait. So I hope you lot are intrigued about the new Resident Evil movie. So yeah, look out for more news on that one as we get it. Some good news for Cobra Kai fans, you are getting a Cobra Kai Season 3 on January the 8th. Now this is a series I've never really delved into. I keep seeing the trailer on Netflix and it really, really makes me want to watch it. You know, my dad's been watching it saying it's brilliant, it's just, just 
really, really cheesy but amazing, which I kind of like. And it's also getting a season four, believe it or not. So series three is coming to Netflix on January 8th. No confirmed del release date yet for series four, but apparently this all takes place after a brawl that happens in season two. I don't know. <laughs> you guys will probably know more than me, but look out for Cobra Kai season three on January the 8th coming to Netflix. We also got a trailer for the movie Free Guy. Ryan Reynolds tweeted this because he is the star of the movie, of course. And Jodie Comer is also co-starring alongside him. And basically, he's this character called Free Guy. And there's loads of violence always happening in this world. He's in some just random crime happening all the time. And the reason for this is because he's in a video game. He's an NPC character. And it looks like he's going to have to save the game before it gets shut down. This actually looked like a fun popcorn flick. And I'll leave the trailer down below, but I'm quite intrigued. I will definitely go and see this if it does come to cinemas. It's apparently coming in November, but it doesn't say where to. It just says November at the end of the trailer. But look, look, looks like a really fun and entertaining film. So that is free, guy. I would say check the trailer out if you'd like, like dumb fun and just entertaining movies where you can just sit back with your feet up and forget about the rest of the world. So that is free, guy, coming in November. Okay guys, I hope you all enjoyed this movie talk weekly. I do this every Wednesday or Thursday. Sorry if I did miss a bit of movie news this week, but I'm pretty sure I got all the big stories there. So if you want to subscribe, it's up to yourself. If you want to see this every week, if you want to comment about the movie news this week, please leave it below. I will reply to every single one of you, I promise. Is there anything you're looking forward to? Because for me, it is definitely Resident Evil. Maybe I should have headlined that for this video, but there you go, the damage is done. I will try and, you know... Not bring too much, start the videos with too much negative news if I can. And just say the delays at the end if I do even say the delays. So there you go. And I do have a review coming soon for Hubie Halloween. A lot of mixed feelings on that movie. I've seen people say they want to turn it off after five minutes. And I've seen people praise the movie. So let's find out what I think about it. In a few days time I'll have that review up. Thanks so much guys for watching. Take it all easy. And I'll see you in all the next video.